is, you know, a great test of golf. This golf course has proven itself over the years. Uh, it's an uh, outstanding layout and it's usually in great condition. It's always fun coming back here. It's uh, interesting, the course was really, really firm on when I played Tuesday afternoon. The greens were pretty firm and, uh, you know, we had to land every ball eight or ten yards short of the hole to hope to get it near the hole, even with a shorter iron. And I guess that was the case yesterday and then they poured a bunch of water on it overnight or this morning and it was a lot softer, the greens I'm talking about, the greens were a lot softer this morning. But they might dry out again, uh, you know, with the good weather that we're having, a little bit of wind and sunshine. So it's going to play a little bit firmer in the afternoon than it does in the morning. So it's difficult to say. that. The thing that's really tough um, is the wind. It swirls around just like it does at Augusta with, amongst the pine trees and it's not never quite consistent here and it's very difficult to, to figure out which direction it's going. And there's a lot of water hazards here, you know, close to the edges of the green or near the, near the pin positions where you need to be really precise and it's just tough to pull the right club and hit the right shot at the right time. So any tournament we play out here, any three round event we play out here, players have to get off to good starts, I believe. You have one less, you know, 18 holes less to make up any kind of ground. So if you get off to a start of 72 or three or four or something like that, even 71, two, uh, you, you just don't have the opportunity to, to get back into it without shooting a crazy round on the weekend. So, you know, getting off to a great start is very, very important every single week. And I don't know if, if it'll mean more so here, uh, to me, this course is hard, a hard course to hold a lead on because it can, if you start playing safe, you can get into trouble. Uh, if you're aggressive, you can get into trouble also, but at least you can kind of take advantage of certain holes. Uh, you know, you start at number, say, 14, the par 5, where you can reach it maybe, uh, or excuse me, 13. Uh, you know, I've gone for that green, I don't know, if I've gone for it 10 times, I've hit it in the water 7 probably, so that's probably not my the opportunity for me to take advantage of it. But then the next hole, par three, is a very narrow green. Uh, or the depth from front to back is, is difficult, I guess, tough to make a birdie there. So in that regard, yeah, I think it's tough to make a lot of birdies to, to make up a lot of ground, but uh, you, just have to, you just have to stay somewhat close, I think, on, after the first round.